Shooting USA is brought to you by SnapSafe and the full line of affordable security products from modular safes to lockboxes. Save 15% with code SUSA15 at SnapSafe.com. Welcome again to the Shooting USA YouTube channel. We're glad you're here. An interesting factoid, some of our more popular videos see as many as 75 or 80% of you are not subscribed to our channel. If you like the content you're seeing, please honor us with a subscription. And if you're interested in full-length current episodes of Shooting USA after it airs on the network, there's a link in this video's description to our Vimeo channel. Now, here's the content you came to see. You know, when you break down a competition course of fire, it's about saving seconds wherever possible. Efficiency in your movements will win the day when you're racing against the clock. Well, Todd Jarrett is with us with a pro tip to help save time when transitioning between targets with both pistol and rifle. Today's pro tip will actually show you exactly how to be able to set up on the target correctly. Whenever I'm going from a target that's out of my peripheral vision, like the target here, if I'm setting up here, if I swing the gun around and go to the target, I will short the target. What I mean by this is a gun is not comfortable hitting it. I want to make sure that my body is square to the target, my shoulders and my hips are square in order to break that shot correctly. So when I'm looking to set up to the target and I swing around, I want to identify the target as quickly as possible in order to drive the gun in there. The quicker I get my eyes on that target, I have a better chance of my body squaring up to that target. So the key thing here is, is that whenever we're doing out of positions in, make sure you understand how to post up correctly. In the first position, you notice that my body comes in. I square up properly before I fire the shot. Very important. Guns aligned correctly to your target with good accuracy. The second position, the gun wants to come around. I actually shorting the target, and I'm not as comfortable as I would if I was square up on the target. Now, this is a separate technique that we're going to be looking at. You may not have the luxuries of posting up on a target every single time correctly. There are times where you have to have a wider stance and lower your center of gravity in order to hit the target with proper accuracy. So what I'm doing here is I'm dropping my body down to allow me to have a better chance of having faster shots and better accuracy by posting up with a wider stance. If you notice, when I drew the gun to the target, I wanted to set my body down slightly in order to transition to target number two. Now let's take a look at the rifle. Okay, this technique with the rifle is slightly different than it is with the handgun. What we want to do is make sure that when we come around with the rifle is that we're going to do a high ready dismount and mount or we're going to do a low ready mount into that position. The rifle will be slightly different for the post up than the pistol and the reason why is we want to blade off a little bit more to, for to compensate for the weight of the rifle versus shooting a handgun that distance. So remember, you may be a guy who might post up on the target and come around, but no matter what, get your eyes on the target as soon as possible, whether you do a low ready or you do a high ready mount on that. So that's today's tip. Good luck and I'll see you soon on the range. Well, you've made it to the end of another Shooting USA video on YouTube, and for that, we thank you. It does help the channel if you subscribe, like, and comment, and that will help us keep the content coming.